Turning now to our special report on the crisis in Iraqi Kurdistan. An overwhelming 92% of voters said yes to Kurdish independence in last month's referendum. But while the vote was celebrated within the region, neighboring states are deeply hostile to the Kurdish bid for autonomy, while the U.S. said it didn't recognize the vote. The Iraqi central government has even threatened to send troops into Kurdistan and seize its oil fields. Kurdish officials say that only now, after the vote is over, does their real work begin. FTV's Huan Ling and Su Chifa will now give us a deeper look at the background of the Kurds' choice. The red represents the blood of the Kurdish people. Green symbolizes spring and white denotes peace. The sun with 21 rays of light represents rebirth and the Kurdish New Year. More than a century old, the Kurdish flag is an increasingly frequent sight on the streets of Kurdistan, where it shows support for the referendum and for independence. Kurds have long used Friday and Saturday evenings as a time to publicly make their voices heard. When large crowds gather together, they spontaneously start to sing and dance, shouting slogans to express their dream of independence. in some country's hand, you know, like a Turkish, Iran, and Syria. We want to be dependent like uh, another country, like a European country. On all my hearts, I say uh, yes for independent Kurdistan. Our right uh, to be uh, independent, there is uh, Kurdish uh, people uh, like the other uh, countries, they, they have their rights to be independent. Local security chiefs bring their units to large gatherings and events to keep public security under control. Even senior government officials turn up to get a feeling for the will of the people. They are free. There is some people maybe they are saying no, but this is happening to them. And uh, normally we are accepting all the yes and no. But I see mostly the people they are saying yes. Officials may express neutrality, but in fact the majority of Kurds at all levels of society support the referendum. We couldn't find anyone willing to publicly profess opposition. Only one small TV station, NRT, is against the vote. They don't oppose independence, merely the timing of the referendum. In 2017, they say, it's premature. All citizens over 18 were eligible to vote in the September 2017 referendum, including the minority of Arab residents. The Kurdish Electoral Commission asked whether the Kurdish government should take over a number of areas outside the current Kurdistan region to form a new state. It was a question of two halves. Firstly, it asked whether to form an independent state, as so many long for. Secondly, it asked if that state should include a number of contested regions, mostly oil-rich, in the area between Kurdistan and Iraq. As such, the vote implied an expansion of Kurdistan's territory. This is the region of Kurdistan. Uh, this is uh, Shingal. And the Minawa, it is here. It is here. And the Kirkuk, it is here. This is the area of the Kurdistan, Kurdistan. region. Region, yeah. yeah. It is our side of the uh, but Kurdistan they are region. Going to join this okay. A resounding vote for independence was easy to predict. 
But it's a long road from declaring the wish for statehood to realizing it and gaining international recognition. What's the next step? I'm a driver to pens, you know, but I keep the way I'm a decadent king boy away. Chon Siadaman have it, Chon Asman man have it, Chon Hudud Yarib Kane, where Chon Passporti Homan Ledunia, Zaman Bakane, Chon Masalan, Masale Mahadati Dolu, Komalak Masaili Kanuni here, the way, Legal Komal Gaino Dolotu, Legal Araki Clam Kano. President of the region in a, in a law has been elected by the people. People in 25th of September will decide what the choice they will would like to prefer. That document, that paper, legal paper, will be a strong authorization to President Barzani to decide in the best conditions, best, best circumstances, where His Excellency will see that the right time for the declaration of independence. The biggest problem for most regions pushing for independence is how to get international acknowledgement. Anyone can see the Kurds have struggled to establish an independent state for decades. But they themselves would say they've inherited a dream from their ancestors that's already millennia old. 民事新闻胡婉玲、苏启发，我们在中东地区的独家采访报道。